Frank the Crank Camacho was scheduled to fight Matt Frivola at UFC 263 this weekend. Camacho was scratched from the fight card after getting injured in a multiple car crash on the 405 freeway in California. Two days already after the, the, the accident, Matt, if anything, the adrenaline has all worn down and, man, I'm, like, physically, I'm pretty, like, wrecked. Like, uh, uh, no broken bones, uh, head is good, but we and we got a, an MRI and just got some, uh, got like three or four herniated, got four her herniated discs on my neck. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know the names of C, C4. I don't know, I don't know what they were, but, but aside from the physical side of the soreness from the accident, dude, I, I feel mentally, spiritually, and emotionally freaking stoked, man. Like, uh, we dodged a huge bullet. You know what I mean? Like I could have, I could, I could not be on this freaking Zoom call right now. You know, like from the type of uh, like four or five car accident that happened on Monday, it, dude, it was wild, bro. It was wild. Like it was so wild that a car like flew over our car. This is the second time Camacho has been unable to step into the octagon because of outside the cage issues. In 2020, he tested positive for COVID. And now the injuries he sustained in the crash has sidelined him once again. Man, I'm so stoked on life and super uh, grateful. And I just got I just got uh, to San Diego with uh, you know I finally see you know um, with my wife and my daughter. So I'm just super happy, man. I'm high on life right now. And um, you know you know what it is. I think it's perspective. The glass is always half full, you know, and the way that accident went down, I could, me and Cookie could be coming home in a box. One little turn or if I press the brakes just a little bit more, it could have been us getting out of that uh, car pile versus me or a Cookie having to drag each other out under cars. The time away from his family and money spent for training camp, the banging, and beating of his body could have all been taken away in an instant. Crank says coach and cornerman Cookie Alvarez has been there since the beginning. Cookie was there and coached him when he needed him most. He came out to uh, to California and we we're going to go to Irvine for one of the biggest fights of my career to corner me and to coach me. When really he came and he coached us uh, for life, you know, like. He really coached us through living through life in that those split seconds and felt like the matrix in there. When we got whacked on the side, our car, I, we were losing control. And I don't know if it's Cookie because he's like, he's a he's seasoned motocross veteran and, you know, one of the best from the Marianas. But I just remember, boom, losing control and having to steer toward the turn so we wouldn't spin out of control. And he was like, Control, crank, control, crank, stay focused, baby, stay fo focused, stay focused. Uh, just really, really blessed, man, to have that guy come at the time that he did and, and, and everything, you know, like it, it really, uh, someone like, you know, the man upstairs was definitely watching over us on Monday.